Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus went away and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and was crying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. But he Jesus did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying out after us. Jesus answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And Jesus answered, It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She replied, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, O woman, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the two cities that we hear in the Gospel today, that is Tyre and Sidon, are not in the Jewish people's area. But culturally, they were well developed or advanced. In the first reading that we heard today, when Moses sent out his spies into Canaan, they found out that it was a land flowing with milk and honey which shows how developed and progressed this land was. Prophet Elijah for a time was ministering to this area, to these people. Letters or alphabets of language were invented in this area, that is 2000 years before Christ. The papyrus plant were plants were imported to Egypt and the writing materials were developed or invented by the Egyptians. So much so, the word paper comes from this plant papyrus. Matthew speaks of a Canaanite woman. In Mark's Gospel, we Matthew men, uh, Mark mentions a Syrophoenician woman. In the time of Jesus, this region was also known as Syrophoenicia. So both the words are the same. From these backgrounds, we can understand or guess what would be the status or the condition of women folk? Women folks were a marginalized lot. And this woman was more in many ways. In the world of male chauvinism, she was merely a second-rate human being. For the Jewish people, she was a second-rate person or citizen. She was unclean, always. And among the chosen people too, she is the rejected one, 
the outsider because she is a gentile and probably she spoke a different language so from all these point of view her origin her language her religion her race her gender she was a marginalized person she was a rejected one a sidelined person but she had the love of the mother the care of the mother for her child and it was this urge in her that propelled her to jesus to ask before him humble before him and ask for this favor that her child be healed of the infirmity or the, the uh, satanic possession but jesus was on a mood to test her she said how can i give the bread for the children of the children to the dogs but she was also smart enough to reply yes lord i am not asking for the bread of the children i am asking of the leftover of the children fallen from the table jesus marveled at her faith for the first time jesus marvels at the faith of a person i have never seen a faith like this jesus says and if this is the type of faith you have be it done for you whatever you are asking for and she received the fever in the first reading we have the people of israel grumbling against god in spite of what god had done through moses brought them from the slavery of egypt kept them in the desert feeding them with manna but they were not grateful for that they were only counting on or looking at things that were lacking in their lives this is what often happens in our lives too when things lack our faith also diminishes along with that and that is not faith when everything is perfect we believe that is not faith faith is something we believe even when we do not have even when we do not get what we have asked for that is the test of faith today we are celebrating the feast of saint teresa ben of saint teresa benedicta of uh, the cross she was a martyr and a virgin all these martyrs these saints have displayed tremendous faith in their lives it is that uh, deep strong faith which makes them saints and this call to be faithful to the lord is given to every one of us every eucharist is a reminder of that faith we need to nurture in our lives because if we do not have the eyes of faith we will not be able to see this bread and wine turning into the body and blood of christ that is the challenge of faith to believe in things that we do not see that is how jesus challenged thomas let us pray today that we may have this kind of a faith to believe in the lord at all times of our lives in our deprivations and in our prosperity that god will be the companion for us and only god amen